I am 42, recently officially divorced, but separated for almost a year and have and have had minimal partners since. My ex-wife had minimal libido for many years. So the sex life was practically non-existent. I have a girlfriend now. Sex is great, but I don't have near the sensitivity I used to. So climax is difficult or doesn't happen uh, for me. Part of the issue might be psycho psychological uh, per a ther therapist, but my question for you would be, is there any real way to regain the sensitivity? Yes, there is. I'm trying your products to see if they can help with me, but if there's other means of getting it back, I'd like to hear it. Cool, easy. Um, so there's a few different routes. So first of all, uh, I'm not sure if you ordered fire or wood, but this, the fire supplement will help with this because uh, it will reduce your prolactin, increase your dopamine levels, makes you more highly aroused, reduces your refractory period, but can also make you like, just generally easier to orgasm. So fire will absolutely help with this. Uh, second thing you can try, and I'm not sure if you're circumcised or uncircumcised, but if you are circumcised, this has helped a lot for me, is um, anhydrous lanolin, rubbing that on the glands of my penis or, or, or on the shaft, anywhere that might be dry or chapped or like not very sensitive, anywhere on your dick that's not that sensitive, uh, cover it in anhydrous lanolin, assuming, full disclosure, assuming, check, warning, assuming you're not allergic to sheep's wool, if you're allergic to wool, you cannot do this. Because anhydrous lanolin comes from sheep's wool. Because you'll fucking turn into a rash. Uh, if, so if you're not allergic to sheep, then uh, getting anhydrous lanolin, it's kind of like this waxy grease. Rubbing that on your dick, and you can just cover your dick in like, uh, like just cover it in cling film or something. Not not tight, but just wrap around it so it doesn't like stain your sheets and your pants and your bed and your underwear and stuff. And sleep in that. Go to sleep in that. With that on your dick. And like you do that for for several days in a row, and you'll find you'll you'll add like it, it's kind of like people. So anhydrous lanolin is something that pregnant women have been using for centuries to uh, heal quickly heal their nipples after breastfeeding, because women can often get damaged nipples and bleeding nipples and stuff from the baby being so aggressive on their nipples. They use anhydrous lanolin, fixes it right up. Does the same can do the same thing to basically any any skin. So if you have dry and chaffed. Um, or desensitized skin on your penis, it can help to restore sensitivity and kind of heal that skin. So very, very useful for this uh, and we're getting sensitivity like that. The other thing you can try <clears throat> is a thing called the Phoenix. It's a device which is a uh, acoustic wave device. I've used it with great success. Uh, it's great for a bunch of things. It really, really, basically the idea is that like <clears throat> you put it on the skin of your penis and it blasts it with like ultrasound, not ultrasound, uh, acoustic waves. What that does is it breaks apart plaques in your um, in your arteries and things. Very similar to what wood does as well. Wood does it by cleaning it out from the inside. Uh, so wood can help with this stuff as well. Can actually increase if you increase blood flow to your penis, you tend to get more sensitivity as well. So there's that too. Uh, then, but with the Phoenix acoustic device, it can blast that stuff away, <clears throat> any arterial plaques, and help sort of re can stimulate regrowth of arteries and blood vessels and things and can add some sensitivity back into the penis as well. Uh, then on top of that, we also have like, obviously, obviously abstaining from masturbation, abstaining for, from pornography usage to help uh, kind of resensitize yourself. And uh, another thing that I've found actually just helps me to get off as well is the use of dirty talk. Because <clears throat> um, your orgasm is just as much mental as it is physical. So when you use dirty talk with your partner, you're kind of it's it's yeah you're doing it for her, but when you're when you're describing scenarios or saying certain things or, or uh, eliciting a fantasy from her, you're kind of doing it to yourself at the same time. So you can tap into that and use dirty talk to uh, also turn yourself on just as much as you're turning her on, and help you both reach orgasm uh, much much quicker. So, so there's a few different tools for you. I hope those help.